So first, let's create a C++ project. I'll go to New Project, C++, basic code will do. No startup content. And I'll call this uh, CPP log tutorial. Okay, so let's create a project. Now that our editor is up and running, I'll give you a quick breakdown on what we're going to do. We will create a global header file which will contain all the necessary macros. And then later in your other classes, you can include this global macro file and you can create your login system very easily. So to do that, we'll go to file, new C++ class, we'll use a none one, and then we'll create a global log file. I mean, you can create whatever name you want. So I'm calling it global underscore log. And then let's just create the class. Now that our class has been added, we can just close the editor for now. And we'll go into the source project, I mean source folder. We'll expand the CPP log tutorial and we'll just delete this global underscore log dot CPP. We don't need that. So you can safely remove it, it's fine. And all this stuff you can remove. This header file will only contain some macros that will make logging easier. But before we continue, we need to delete the old global underscore log dot CPP file from Explorer. So navigate to your project folder. I have it in my documents under the project CPP log tutorial. And under source CPP log tutorial, delete the global underscore log source file. Otherwise, it won't compile. So delete it permanently. And then let's get back to work. In this header file, we'll create two important macros that will return the function name with class name and the line number. So to do that, we'll create two macros. So let's type hash define get class name with function. And this will be in string formats. So f string open close parentheses double underscore function. This will return the function with class name and the function name. And we'll create another macro get line number. And since line number is an integer we'll type f string double colon from integer open close parentheses and in that type double underscore line since line is a, a line number is in integer format we need to convert it to uh, f string uh, into a string format so that's what this macro does now that uh, we have the necessary information of class name, function, and line number. We will make use of them with another macro. So let's create a new macro called, uh, let's say, just log. With two parameters, one is just the log category and the actual message. And then we will make use of UV underscore log open close parentheses and then log category and comma log comma text open close parentheses and this is where we make use of get class name with function and get line number so I need a format that will be like you know uh, my uh, my game mode my function line number 16 and uh, some stuff so this will be the end result of our log this will be the class name and function which we will get using this macro and then the line number using this macro and then the actual message okay so to do that, we need this text and open in, inside this open close parentheses. Let's uh, type uh, quotes and inside that percentage s uh, square brackets percentage s again colon and percentage s. This percentage s will be replaced with this one here. That is get class name with function 
and this percentage s will be replaced with the get line number and this percentage s will be replaced with message so now that we have it here we need to format it so type comma and point it you need to point it so make sure you type the asterisk and then type get class name which should be here yeah with function comma asterisk again get line number comma f string uh, we need that asterisk again f string open close parentheses message there you go now we have our log so when, whenever we use this macro, we will pass in a log category. This will be like uh, my game mode log or my character log or something like that. And then we actually pass in the message. So in the end result, how it will look in the uh, output log, my game mode log, and with the class name with function, with line number, and uh, the actual message this will be the end result so now it's time to compile but instead of right clicking and selecting build make sure you select rebuild because from this folder we deleted global underscore log dot cpp file so when you build it for the first time after typing all this make sure you select rebuild only for the first time after that you can do just build so let's just select rebuild and it should uh, rebuild fine without any errors yes it's a success so now let's uh, start the editor okay our editor is up and running and now let's make use of our log uh, macro so in order to use it we need a class so let's add a new C++ class and let's just add a game mode. I'll just call it my game mode and I'll just create a class. Our new game mode has been added. First of all, what we need to do is we need to include that global log file. So include global log. Now this source file have access to this log macro. So I'll go to my game mode and I'll just create I'll just override the begin play function I'll just right click refactor and create implementation and by the way this option right here this create implementation it's from visual assist text so if you don't have it uh, you can just type this entire thing in your source file and it should be done now let's type super begin play and now we have our, uh, we have successfully overrided our begin play function now let's make use of our log macro so for that we need to define a new log category because our log macro requires a log category so let's just create that one define log category static right here press enter and we'll name it my game mode log and we need this in all verbosity levels so just type all comma all that's it now we press enter we can just log and type my game mode log and we'll type the message like um, begin play called yay and now if we go back to our editor and compile our compilation has finished and we'll just set the game mode to my game mode I'll just press play and stop because when you press play the begin play event will be called and now this out this this should be in our output log so let's just check that window developer tools output log and here you can see right here my game mode log with class name function name line number and the message 
But this output log is very simple. It offers no filtering system and it will show all the log entries from everywhere. So if you have multiple classes with a lot of logging happening, it will be a very time consuming job to go through all these logs to find your specific one. So what we need is a proper console window with the ability to filter out what we need and what verbosity we want. Fortunately, Epic has already made one. It's called Session Frontend, and you can open it from Developer Tools, Session Frontend, right here. So when you open it, you can see a console window right here with a log filter group. So you can expand this session, you can select this application, and here you will see the entire log. You can see my game mode log, the class name, function name, and all that stuff right here. And if you expand this log filter, you can see the categories, and it includes our my game mode log. If you don't see this, then that means you just have to play the game and stop it. And they have different verbosity levels, and I'll show you how to make use of them. And uh, let's just jump back to our source code right here, and we'll just copy paste this seven times. So. We already have logs, so we'll make six more. Now we have seven log entries. I mean, we need one more. Okay, so now we can rename this log to display and this one to verbals. And these logs, we can rename them to display and verbals now we'll jump back to our game mode and we'll just type log underscore display and we'll just copy this and paste it and we'll, I'll just um, say like display message I'll just uh, create all the proper log entries here now. Okay, I have created all the log entries and now let's jump back to our editor. We we'll just close the output log and compile. The compilation has finished. We'll press, uh, we'll first go to session frontend and we'll just uh, clear the log and press play and stop. Now if we jump back to session front end, you can see all the game mode log, log message, display, verbals, very verbals, warnings, and errors. So let's just go to log filter. Let's just filter out by game mode. And now you can see how easy it is to uh, filter out your log entries and you can filter out by the verbosity levels also. Let's say we only want very verbose, you can just disable all the other stuff. If you just want warnings, you can do that. And you can do the same for all the other verbosity levels. So this is a workflow that I'm using for all of our projects. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a nice day.